Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Roha Digos Buddha Video Burogu. Monogatari 16, I think. Let's begin with the baller ass intro theme, shall we? <clears throat> Roha. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Am I right? I don't know, it's got a certain ring to it. The simplicity, maybe there's, maybe what's best in life is simple. Although Conan the Barbarian would disagree. So, this weekend, it's currently Sunday the 21st, Sunday the 21st of November. I'm sitting in the old Degozaru Uchi, and uh, some things, some things, some things been happening. Uh, Friday night, I drank gin. I really like gin, and I watched a very interesting movie called "I'm Still Here." It's uh, about uh, what the hell is his name? It's about Joaquin Phoenix and basically his you know, collapse and his descent into madness and overdoing, ODing on fame and fortune and whatnot. And it was good. It was good. Apparently it was a hoax, but I mean, you know, it's very believable. You can't really tell with those kinds of things. But it was a good movie. Uh, and yesterday, Saturday, I went to the Coco Farm and Winery because they were having a good old-fashioned wine festival, a harvest festival. See, check us out. You even get a free, uh, you even get a free corkscrew. You pay about two thousand yen, which is roughly twenty dollars, and you get a corkscrew and a bottle of wine, red or white. Or if you're not into drinking, you can get some sparkling cider. Although sparkling cider folk do not get one of these. You get one of these. It's uh it's like a bottle stopper. You plug it on the top and then boom, close it and keep it nice. And you may be wondering, damn, what did you spend? Four thousand yen? What did you? You get sparkling cider and some wine? No. I just had a lot of spare time after the events and there's a lot of drunken Japanese people like littering the vineyards. So you can pretty much just get what you want. You know, I wasn't stealing. I wasn't as bad as the one guy. Oh yeah, and you get a wine glass too. Uh, my wine glass is in the other room and I do not feel like getting it. So you're gonna have to get over it right now. But as I was saying, I'm not as bad as the one dude. There's this Japanese guy who was running around collecting glasses and he was just like, Sugoi, wine glass to get to does, eh? And basically that means I'm getting some fucking wine glasses. What you know? So, that's classic. Uh, today, you know, taking it easy, relaxing. Recovery. I did my laundry. Still got to pull some stuff off the line. I'm extremely hungry right now. Oh. Did some thrift shopping today. Oh, yes, that's right. Did some thrift shopping today. Check out that bad boy right there. I'm fairly certain it is an old hermitus man feeding pigeons. I got it for 500 yen. That's like five bucks. There's my sweet jacket. Oh, what about that thing right there? Come on, computer, don't die on me. There we are. So, yeah, I also picked up a, a large bookshelf-like thing. Four stories. Ah, I'm trying to duck so you can see it. But, yeah, I picked that up, and it's... uh. That was only 980 yen, roughly ten dollars. It's getting to the top of my uh, my wanting to spend money range, but it was Sunday. I do a little thrift shopping, try and make the place look nice. Try and make the place look nice, you know. You know how it is. So, in addition to that, I had McDonald's recently, and take a look at this right here. Well, Christmas 
This is a French fry nugget Christmas tree. That's just classic. But I wanted to show you this. You see this? This is the icon box. They've been doing this chicken festival lately, and they've been all these different chicken sandwiches from around the world. There's a spicy one, a German one, and basically for seventeen dollars, seventeen eighty, which is like actually more like eighty dollars in America because a dollar is so crappy. But I'm gonna order this for Christmas. This will be my Christmas feast. You have two six packs of nuggets right there, big old fry. I think this is even more chicken nuggets in the background. Oh no, these are the selects. That's right, they're different for some reason. So you got nugs, you got some selects, and you have the fabled shaka shaka chicken. You can see them. And although it's indecipherable, that red packet, there's cheese, and then there's black pepper. And when I came back to Japan, I found, I found a, a terrible fact had come to pass and that was that red chili hot chili shaka shaka chicken aka my favorite flavor had been taken away they took away my flavor and they broke my heart and my spirit and now I have to deal with black pepper which is it's not even a tenth as good I don't even want to go into it anyway but the red packet there is actually pizza and they're coming out with a pizza flavored shaka shaka chicken they may have won me back they may have won me and it also comes with three uh, little McDonald's ornaments the mini shaka shaka the McDonald's arch and the McDonald's mini stua I think me and a buddy are gonna go in on it as much as I'd love to consume twenty dollars worth of chicken straight like straight up I feel it's in poor taste and it's too stereotypical of an American to just eat $20 worth of chicken in Japan. Uh, also, lately, I recently, like two weeks ago, went to a Moku Hanga, which is woodblock print. I went to a woodblock print, um, like, show, a little show, because I've been talking to uh, one of the lunch ladies at my schools, and she's cool. We chat. I usually compliment her on lunch and whatnot, just being a nice gentleman. And she's like, oh, you gotta go see this, this woodblock print art gallery. And I did, and apparently I might be doing a little woodblock printing in the near future. Um, I also got this. She gave me gifts. This is a beautiful fall scene. The reds and yellows and the browns. It's beautiful colors. I'm gonna frame them, hang them up. I have, uh, I recently framed some other things, but can't say them. Um, I just, they're selling these at the supermarket. They're your basic, uh, bottle rockets for 50 cents. So imagine just getting bottle rockets for 50 cents at the supermarket. Was, I thought that was cool. I also picked up some metallic paint pens, paint markers. I'm going to attempt to paint my dice, because... I picked up some uh, some good old fashioned. Oh, I'm so glad that there's. Ah, uh, no, I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed. You got a nice color though. Hopefully, I can paint the dice up nice. But I picked up some more dice that need inking, so I'm going to ink them. Going to ink them. And as I promised, I recently made kimchi. Here it is. You can see there's a lot less because I, I ate some because it's good. But I want to take you vicariously through me eating kimchi right now. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to chew it with my mouth open because I hate it. So the first thing that happens is you open the jar. Mm. It's like soury. It's got these notes of spiciness to it, and it's because of my secret ingredient, there's a little spice going on. I'm gonna mix it up a little. I'm gonna mix it around. Get some of the get some of the juices going. Next time I'm gonna make a lot more kimchi. This is just a test batch. And I'd have to I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Alright, this is a little bit of everything. Some onions, some some onion. I got a little lettuce in there, the cabbage and squares of what I'm going to call secret ingredient. Smells good, fresh.
It's hot. But the secret ingredient, which I will reveal, is sweet. It, it controls the heat. It controls it and it gives you a little burst of flavor. Burst of flavor, yes, that's right. Let's see. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a happy camper. Happy camper. Needless to say. But, um, yeah. Kimchi. It's delicious. The kimchi I made first try. Well, it was surprisingly good. I could probably just sit here and eat all of it, but, you know, it's one of those precious things, so I don't want to, uh, you know, squander it. And, um, I recently... No, I'm not even going to go into that. I'll do that some other time. It'll be a private video. But, um, I'm looking around, right? Why do I always look around before the video? Let's see if I can just show you something. Oh, there you go. Here's the badge that you get. You also get a badge. Yeah. Harvest or Festival 27. I guess it was the 27th Harvest Festival. Needless to say, uh, it's been a blog. It's been, it has been quite a vlog, hasn't it? I mean... We've gone to the wine festival, we bought some things at the dollar store, and we ate a little kimchi together. Not to mention we learned that $20 worth of chicken is available. Oh, you have to pre-order it, by the way. I guess I need to pre-order it. So, oh, and did you notice anything? I shaved off my sideburns. I tried to trim them, and I ended up effing them up. So, I just shaved them off. The kids will probably look at me and be like, what the hell was different about this guy? And they're not going to know. Yep. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll call it a vlog. I'll talk to you later. Peace.